Well, the regular season is over for the Lake Forest College men's hockey team, and now it's time for the NCHA Harris Cup quarterfinal playoffs, where they'll face off against Concordia, Wisconsin, in Mequon, Wisconsin, this Friday and Saturday. I'm Cam McGuire, the voice of Lake Forest College hockey, and coming up in this week's episode of Inside Forester Hockey, I'll be joined by head coach Pat Keller to preview the upcoming series. Joined now by head coach Pat Kelleher in this week's episode of Inside Forester Hockey. It's playoff time now. You guys have made the playoffs the last three out of four years. But the structure is going back to what it used to be. Tell me about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we're back to eight teams making playoffs. The last two years it had been, um, you know, been six teams. And, and I think, you know, for, for the coaches in the league, I think it was um, – you know, we, we have such a deep league and, you know, so competitive that uh, to cut it down to six right away, we thought was maybe a little bit of a disservice to the players and, um, you know, how hard they've been working all year. Um, you know, and I certainly expect, you know, even the one four matchups in both divisions, I think will be, you know, very competitive and certainly the two three matchups too. So um, in terms of quality of play, I don't think you're, you know, there's, you're not losing, new, losing anything by having those two extra teams. And I think it gives, you know, student athletes uh, an opportunity to play a few more games um, you know it's a short season so anytime you can get it get a couple extra games and, and have a chance to, to survive in advance I think that's um, you know I think that's a, a good thing so so you guys have played Concordia twice this season you lost both times but you feel like you played pretty well against them especially last time how do you see you guys stacking up against them yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like you said, I think the last time we played them, um, you know, we felt like we had some really good chances in the first and second period and and uh, carried the play to an extent. And, and unfortunately, we just weren't able to finish those chances. And then in the third period, um, you know, they capitalized on a few of their opportunities. So um, we certainly expect a, a really competitive weekend. I think two two teams that, that are pretty evenly matched. And, um, you know, we know that they, they want to play with a lot of pace and, and get up and go. So, um, you know, for us, we just have to be be ready to play really good in transition on defense and and then be ready to counterattack as well you know when we have our opportunities because um, you know like I said with the way they play um, you know they're dangerous but you certainly I think will we'll get some opportunities going your way as well. It was a battle all year long for that second seed I can imagine that you guys are going to be fired up for this one. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, you know, it, it came down there the last few weekends, and, and obviously they held the tiebreaker on us. But, um, you know, we, we knew, I think, going into the last weekend that we'd be, you know, we'd be matched up against them, just kind of home ice on the line. And, um, you know, I think for the guys, it's, um, you know, they, they beat us twice in the regular season. So if you need a little extra motivation, I think it's there. But at the same time, it's playoff hockey. So, you know, I think that, um, you know, to an extent, you, you know, you're going to be ready to go one way or the other. So, um, yeah, it should be, should be a great weekend of uh, a really competitive hockey. So there's definitely chemistry on this team from top to bottom. You look at this late in the season, what are your guys' point of emphasis? I know team defense is definitely up in that list. Yeah, certainly. That's been a big point of emphasis in the second half here, you know, um, really just playing a stronger defensive game. Um, but but transition defense, you know, like I said, the way that they play, uh, they're really good in transition. So you have to make sure um, you have guys constantly working to get back over the top on defense, um, you know, bringing all five guys back into the zone and, and, you know, making sure they don't get any second chance opportunities, um, you know, and then, and then being ready to transition yourself. Um, you know, they want to play an up and down game. Um, you know, we feel like we'll get some some chances on the counter strike, and um, again, it's just about being ready to execute. You know, when you have those ch chances. You talk about them wanting to play an up and down game. They've got some guys up front that can really use their speed and get the puck in the back of that. You got to be aware when they're on the ice. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they have, they're they're talented up front. I think that's you know that's where their strength lies in their team. And um, you know, for us, we just have to be prepared, um, especially early in games. Can't be su surprised by the speed of the game and. And everything's ramped up in playoffs already. So, you know, I think for us it's making sure that we're protecting the middle of the ice, um, not getting overly extended. Um, and, and, again, just working back, um, you know, having a good third man high, making sure our forwards are always working to get back over the top. Um, because generally, 
you know, it's not that first or second guy that beats you. A lot of times it's that, you know, third guy entering the zone that isn't marked. Um, so for us, it's, it's playing really good uh, team defense and transitions, a, a big point of emphasis. So it's that time of year again. It's playoff hockey in the NCHA. Both games will be streamed on GoForesters.com. Puck drop on Friday at 8 o'clock and then Saturday at 7 o'clock. This has been another episode of Inside Forester Hockey. Thanks for watching.